Hello viewers, we're going to try a Starfield video today. This is just going to be a test. Uh, I haven't uh, been recording this uh, or any videos on this game because I've been too busy playing the game. So today I figured I'd show you around uh, one of my ships. Uh, I'll probably do a few of these videos. This uh, started off as a Crimson Fleet Ghost. I've uh, lightened up the color a little bit and I've made some significant changes to it. The main ones being that I've changed the back landing gear. It normally has the big single foot in the back which would tend to fasten up to the bottom of the uh, the HAB unit there. Also this uh, unit here is the 2x1 uh, control room and behind that I put a 2x1 all-in-one HAB. Um, I wanted to go with something a little different for the back landing gear that wouldn't require uh, so much uh, space. Um, so I put on these uh, Hope Tech gears. This is a uh, cargo bay. This takes uh, Starship Design Level 2, I believe it is, and uh, it gives approximately, a th I think that one's 740 cargo, if I remember right. These are about 320 each, and they require uh, Starship Design Level 1. Uh, norm on the normal setup for the ship, you would have uh, two engines vertically mounted, uh, so there would have been another one on top. I didn't really like the look of that, so I got rid of one of them, and I put these two side-mounted engines, and uh, I moved the uh, uh, hydrogen tanks uh, from the big uh, dual ones mounted on there to... How do I talk to her? So, what's new with you today? I'll be right here. Yeah, it's piss off for a while. I went from the two uh, large mounted hydrogen tanks to the single one on one side and a shield on the other side. This side is uh, much the same. No window. We'll go inside, we'll take a look around, and then I'll show it to you in the... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to bother with the ship builder because there's not really anything that you can't see from the outside. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. So this part is just standard Crimson Fleet Ghost. You've got your docker on the front. And Hello. the only thing I've added to it is I've uh, put this hab in the back here and I've moved stuff around a little bit in terms of like the landing gear and the, uh, the grav drive and the reactor. The reactor is basically directly below here, uh, behind the landing bay, and then uh, to the rear of that is the uh, cargo pod, and then uh, on the top I've got the uh, the engine, and uh, right above about here would be the uh, grav drive, and then we got the cockpit up here. And the reason that I put a hab into a ship like this is because if you're flying it around a lot, you get the uh, the XP bonus for uh, sleeping for an hour. Now, the one thing is with this particular ship, Vasco doesn't know what the hell to do with himself. So he's either stuck in the deck here or he's hovering just above this door. He can be quite the pain in the ass. I do like the cockpit layout on this. There's a couple of spots for crew. And then uh, you've got your pilot seat. You've got decent visibility. Uh, when you're in combat, normally I fly from the cockpit view. And uh, you got your captain's locker and your uh, interface for the cargo hold. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. 
And this is the overall view of it. Uh, 1530 is the cargo that I'm getting out of the cockpit and out of these two cargo pods on the side and this one in the back here. Now this one in the back only has a single or uh, uh, top mount uh, attach uh, point. So you have to move the uh, either the reactor or the grav drive back uh, underneath the hab so that you have a place to mount the, uh, the landing gear from. Another option if you're willing to live with less uh, cargo space um, or I suppose you could just put another set of these things underneath or even another set uh, forward is you could just go for one of the standard like one by one uh, landing bays and uh, not use these ones but I do kind of like the back end profile that this gives me and for my weapons I go with uh, dual particle or dual electron beams on in the uh, standard missile launcher I prefer that over the lasers ballistics and missile launcher uh, that way you've only got the uh, the main weapon group, uh, electron beams do the same uh, damage to shield and hull, and the missile is basically just a little bit of a bonus. Anyways, that's the ship. Uh, uh, not a lot of changes from a Crimson Fleet Ghost, and the uh, the Ghost is actually a pretty easy ship to, uh, to capture. Uh, it's got a decent look to it, I believe, so if you like the look of it, it's pretty easy to build. Uh, the uh, reactor, I believe, is the standard one that came with it, and this is just a uh, Hope Tech uh, uh, structural piece that gave a little bit better profile on the back end there. Grav drive underneath, cargo pod. So yeah, nothing really special here. Uh, and then I've also added a window there. That doesn't really do much for it. If you wanted to, you could also, uh, like if you went with a, um, um, a standard hab in the back here, you could also go with the top docker and lose this nose piece. But that, mm, I don't know if it would really fit the, uh, the look of it very well. Anyways, that's going to be it for this uh, look at the ship. I'm not going to bother pulling it apart because there's not a lot to see. You've got your hab in here and uh, that fills up a little bit of space that the stock ship would use but uh, yeah there's an alternative if you capture one of these and you kind of like the look of it uh, thanks for watching and uh, come back again